greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to appreciate our numerous listeners, men and women who, not that you actually find found time, but you make time to listen to our messages. The messages that come to you through our audio and uh, video tapes. God bless you abundantly. We've been receiving your responses and uh, those of you who call us on the telephone, those of you who send email, the email chidokura for 04 at yahoo.com, they call us, 080 0807702002 080 0807702002 we've been receiving your call 
even as you're listening to this particular message you can pick your telephone and call 080-770-20202 and for those of you outside Nigeria you can call 234-80-770-20202 you know, I just call this because many people have been uh, saying that they want to talk to me directly. And uh, this can afford you an opportunity of uh, speaking with me. Let's bow our heads in prayer for what the Lord wants to share with us today. Our Father, we glorify your name. We praise you, ancient of days. We thank you, the Lord of glory. I pray today that you will open our eyes. Challenge us through your word. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I'd like to take you to the book of Exodus. Exodus chapter 20. Exodus chapter 20. I feel like reading from the amplified version of the Bible today. Exodus chapter 20. From verse 1. Then God spoke all these words. I am the Lord your God. Who has brought you out of the land of Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. You shall have no other God. Before me. Or besides me. You shall not make yourself any graven image. To worship it or any likeness of anything that is in the heavens above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down yourself to them or serve them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me. Amen. You see, when we study this chapter, one key issue here is that the Lord said, Thou shalt have no other God before me. The Lord is against I don't worship. I don't worship. And by the way, what is an idol? An idol is anything or person that takes the seat of God in your heart. Any ideology, anything, any human being, anything, anything is anything that takes the seat of God. In other words, anything that overthrows God Anything that makes God secondary in your life has become an idol. I know a couple of weeks ago, I spoke on idol worshippers in the church. People who have a particular person or thing that they elevate, adore, more than God. And um, today... We want to consider something very, very important. You see, I bless God for technology. I bless God for the wonderful thing that the Lord has done in our generation. One of the great things the Lord has done in our generation is what we call GSM. GSM, which we know. You see, when God created man, he created man in his own image and likeness. And this likeness of God, he said to man, thou shall worship no other God except me. Now, man was given the power and freedom to develop his potentials in order to dominate, in order to rule, in order to recreate even from the created things. 
And as I look at our contemporary generation, communication is one of the most paramount aspects of human life. Without which, I doubt if man can survive without communication. I bless God for the creation of communication gadgets. Blessed be the wisdom that came upon people who invented telephone. And um, I, I, I seem to, let me put it this way. Apart from the invention of telephone, when we went into GSM, that was extra mile, extra mile technology. And my own, you know, description of what the Lord did through this human instrument. And I know, like you know, that before the empirical invention of this communication gadget, it had not been easy with mankind to make easy contact without coming closer. It had never been easy. You know, you cannot just talk to somebody in a remote place. You cannot just talk to somebody in another city without coming closer. But blessed be the name of the Lord that telephone has done that. And GSM has done more to our generation. You know, when the, the GSM came, this scientific invention started and affected our means of verbal communication. And if you look at it very well, well, permit me to explain the acronym, the acronym GSM. I know that GSM is just an acronym and um, somebody will want us to, uh, you know, I, I, I crave your indulgence. I, I don't intend to insult your uh, technological intelligence by getting into explanation of what GSM is. It's one of those things that should be done so that what the message we're bringing could go to the grassroots. The acronym GSM means Global System of Mobile Communication Network. Global System of Mobile Communication Network. I, I know that it was first used in America in this modern time. And I also know that um, GSM is a branch of a radioactive gadget used for easy communication. Permit me to also say that GSM is an advanced metamorphosis and modification of the ancient system of telephone. And also... You know, as well as I do, that um, telephone originally was invented by Alexander Graham Bell. And telephone system later developed a wireless system called walkie-talkie, which was mostly used by uh, military people, the intelligence section on signals, for easy signals. We also think of navigational operation and defense coverage. Well, as advancement in scientific technology progressed, this wireless system was improved upon to this level of GSM for all classes of people. You know, a couple of years ago, many, many years ago, if you see a man with a mobile phone, he must be, he must be a rich man. You know, it was as if it was, it was dedicated for the rich. Thank God that there's a breakthrough. The GSM has brought breakthrough. Even a peasant farmer can possess GSM. And it's all over the place. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We appreciate what the Lord has done. Yes, we appreciate the good things. We appreciate the, the government also. That had this dream, especially to bring GSM to this part of the world. To God be the glory. And I thank God. I thank God everybody must, you see, we got to clap our hands. We got to clap our hands for the adv numerous advantages of the GSM. But, you know, a good thing could be bastardized. Listen to me. If you look at the topic we want to handle today, we say GSM, color, idol of distraction. In other words, GSM was intended to help us, especially in communication. But I want to say that it could also become an idol. 
it could also become an idol of distraction. You can make it a word of communication. You can also make GSM a word of iniquity. GSM can help you. GSM can also mar you. Depending on how you use it. Oh no. God forbid that a man living in the 21st century should be against GSM. No. I appreciate this great gadget. I have them. Yes. And I encourage everybody, if you don't have one, try to get one. It will help you in communicating. However, if you are not careful, if you allow GSM to rule you, instead of you ruling GSM. And by the way, when God created man, he gave man the power to have dominion. I pray to you, I mean, I pray today that you, my listener, that God will give you the grace to have dominion over GSM. Unfortunately, instead of GSM, I mean, instead of people having dominion over GSM, I see GSM having dominion over people. And when there is this departure, instead of you having dominion over GSM, GSM begins to have dominion over you. Oh, it means you have resorted to idol worship. You've made GSM an idol. Yes, and this message is meant that the Lord might deliver you today from such idolatry in the name of Jesus Christ. You see, I've seen people, I don't know if you sat down to calculate the attention you pay for GSM. If you pay such attention to God, oh my God, there will be a spiritual revolution in your life. I mean what I am saying. It has taken the place of God in the heart, unfortunately, even in the life of some Christians. Even in the life of some Christians. Oh my God, that, that piece of idol in your pocket, that piece of idol that you have there, you made it idol. Yes, you see, those people who made this invention, it was not their intention that GSM should replace God in your heart. But you, 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 you went into that. You made GSM your God. You may say, Mr. Preacher, what are you talking about? I will explain to you what I'm talking about. I will explain to you the thing that you have done with this piece of, you know, with this gadget called GSM. I'm going to explain to you, and you will see where we are going, and why we want this, uh, you know, let's go to the church. Sometimes, while you're worshipping, you see a man or woman rushing out of the auditorium, rushing out, and you begin to wonder, maybe there's an emergency. I've seen people who abandoned a salmon. A salmon that was all. They didn't mind. There was a beckoning of their idol. Their idol was